Hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through eight exercises that you can do laying down that are aimed at improving leg strength and range of motion after stroke. We'll go through two sets of 10 of each exercise and we'll take a short break in between each set. All you'll need for this video is a pillow and either a kitchen towel or a bath towel. Let's get into it. Let me go ahead and get into position, take off my shoes. We're gonna be laying down. And our first exercise is gonna be focused on our hip flexors. These are gonna be leg raises. So again, this is my affected leg. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate just a few of these for you. So our leg raises are going to look like this. Leg is going to pick up off the bed or the couch, raise up and then slowly lower, okay? Raise up, keeping the knee straight, as straight as you can, and then slowly lowering. Now, if that's gonna be too hard and you can't quite get your leg up off of the bed or the couch, I just want you to try to contract those muscles. So you're gonna pretend that you're gonna try to do this. You're gonna try to lift that leg, and even if you're not getting movement, it's okay. We're still contracting those hip flexor muscles, okay? So let's go ahead and do our first set of 10. Deep breath. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, want nice controlled movement. This is number three. No plopping your leg down or dropping it real fast. This is number four. Five, you're doing great. Six, good. Seven, keep it going, you got this. Number eight. Nine, feeling that burn. Number 10, relax. Whew. Take a little breather here for just a minute. In between each set of 10, we're gonna do two sets of 10 for each exercise. In between each set, we're just gonna take a nice little breather, get a sip of water, pause the video if you need a longer break. Um, this is meant for you to go at your own pace. Everyone is starting at their own place, so no shame in anyone's game. Do what you need to do, all right? Okay, let's get into our second set of 10. Ready, here we go. And leg comes up, keeping the knee straight as you can and slowly lowering. We've got that nice controlled movement on the way down. This is number two. Here's number three. Good. Four. Sorry if you hear any extra noises. Garbage person just came. This is number five. Number six. Hang with me, we are almost there. Number seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. My leg's getting tired, so you can see my knee is trying to bend. <laughs> and 10, great job. Take a breather here and I'll meet you at exercise number two. Okay, exercise two is going to focus on hip extension. So we're gonna be doing an exercise called bridges, hip bridges. So the exercise, let me demonstrate how I'm gonna be performing it and then I'm gonna show you a modification. So for hip bridges, I'm gonna go ahead and get both of my legs up. My feet are gonna be planted on the bed. My hands are gonna be down. And what I'm gonna do is lift my bottom up in the air and try to make a nice straight line from my knees to my hips, okay? I'm gonna slowly lower that. And that's our hip bridge. Now, if this is too difficult or you can't keep your affected leg up, two modifications for you to try. Go ahead and straighten your affected leg, your unaffected, your stronger leg, you're gonna keep bent, and you can bridge up this way. So, affected leg is down, go ahead and pull your hips up, and then slowly lower. Now, if this is still too difficult, one more modification to show you. All we're gonna do is focus on squeezing our bottom. So you're gonna squeeze your bottom because you're gonna get some hip extensors 
in that contraction and then you'll relax. So you pick out what's best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you with both of my legs up in the air. Let's get into our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And one, just like with the other exercise, we're trying to go nice and slow, controlled movements on the way up and on the way down. This is gonna be number four. Nice flat here. Lowering our hips down, doing great. This is number five. And back down. Number six. You're doing great. <laughs> I know this is a hard one. Number seven. Number eight. Two more. Let's get them. This is number nine. Last one of our first set. Number 10. Whew. Very nice. One thing I meant to point out is if you are moving from lying to sitting at any point during these exercises, um, I want you to just do that slowly. Sometimes our blood pressure can drop or you can get a little woozy or have a blackout moment when you're changing positions. So just be cautious if you're going from laying to sitting up during any of these, like if you need to sit up to get a drink of water. Okay. We've had a couple seconds. Let's take a nice big deep breath in through our nose, out through our mouth. Okay, let's get this second set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And raise up, hips nice and straight, and lower. Doing great. Here's number two. And up. Lower back down slowly. Number three. And lower slowly. If it's easier, you can just follow my voice. Up four. And we'll lower slowly, doing great. Up five. Hips nice and straight. And lower down. Number six, good, and let's lower. Here's number seven, almost there. Let's bring our hips back down, doing great. Number eight, raise up and lower back down. Number nine, I know you're probably feeling the burn a bit by now. I can feel it for sure. Lower down, but we've got one more. Here's number 10, you are a warrior. Don't forget that. And lower back down. Whew, I'm feeling it. Nice job, let's move on to the next one. Exercise three is windshield wipers or clamshells, depending on where you're at. So we're working on hip abduction out to the side and adduction, bringing our hips in, out and in. For this one, if you need to do the windshield wipers, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now, you're going to need a towel. My towel is gonna go down underneath my affected leg. If it is too difficult for you to bring your legs up like this, this is your modification. Leg is gonna be flat. You've got the towel underneath your affected heel and you're going to pull your leg out to the side and then pull it back in. Out to the side, back in. So that's your windshield wiper. Now, if you're up for a little bit more of a challenge and you have some stability holding your legs up like this, you can try the clamshell, which is you've got your knees bent, legs will come out to the side, and then you're going to pull them back in together. So what I don't want to see is 
just letting your legs flop. This is all going to be nice controlled movements. So for today's exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the clamshell, but if you need to do the windshield wiper, you know, go with that. Again, this is all at your own pace. We've got two sets of 10 to do here. Let's get into our first set, okay? Legs are going out to the side and pull back in. One, very nice. Out to the side. Back in, two, out, and in, that's number three. Here's number four, legs out to the side, and pull back in, doing great. This is number five, keep it going, doing wonderful. Number six, legs out, slow controlled movements. Number seven, we're really focused on activating our hip abductors and adductors. This is number eight, back in. Two more. Out, doing good. Back in. Last one of our first set, out and in. Good, take a moment. Wiggle around if you need to. Take a couple deep breaths, get a sip of water. Our abductors and adductors are very important muscles. They really help to stabilize our hip joint, um, which are very important in helping us walk and helping us to maintain our balance, our postural stability. Um, so they come in into play during a lot of daily things that we have to do. So it's important to strengthen them. Okay, let's get into our second set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And legs out. Good. And in. It's number one. Out. Good. And in. Three. Out. Good. And in. This is number four. And if you have someone who can help you with this one, like let's say that your legs tend to kind of flop open, this is number five, you can have someone be here to support you. But if you don't, you can go to the windshield wipers. This is number six, out. You're doing great. And in. Number seven. And in. Number eight, we're almost there. Doing great. Two more. This is number nine. And in. Last one here. This is number 10. You made it. Pull those legs back in. Excellent job. I'll see you at exercise number four. Our next exercise is focused on our hip rotation both external and internal rotators. So I'm gonna show you the exercise that I'll be doing with you throughout the two sets of 10, but I will also show you a modification after that if this is too hard for you. So to demonstrate our exercise, we are going to bend up our knees and have our feet flat on the bed or the couch, wherever you're at. And we are slowly going to shift our legs to one side and then we're gonna go the other way. Rotate our hips the other way. Make sure you're on a stable surface with enough room so that you're not gonna go flying off the edge of something, okay? <laughs> Let's be safe. Now, if this is too hard and you don't have good leg control in this position, here's a modification. You can lower both of your legs straight on the bed, the couch, wherever you are. For this, you are going to focus on rotating your hips and your legs one way and then the other. And you can kind of use your toes to point which direction you're gonna go. So my right leg is my affected side here. So I'm pointing my toes out to the side and then I'm pointing them 
in towards my midline. And let's do our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go towards the affected side. Over. We're doing nice, slow, controlled movements. We're gonna go over to the other side now. Good, that's number one. Back to our affected side. And to the other side. Good, that's number two. This is number three. Back to the other side. Good. Here's number four. Nice, slow, controlled. Excuse the squeaking of my exercise mat. This is number five. We're halfway through our first set. You're doing great. Number six, towards our affected side. And back the other way. Wonderful. Number seven. Good. Other side. Almost there. This is number eight. Other side. Good. Two more. You got this. Number nine. Other side. Whew. Last one of our first set. And back to the other side. Excellent. Come to midline. Give those hips a little bit of a break. Take a breather here. I've mentioned before in one of my other videos, but our hip rotators, you can sort of think of them like the rotator cuff of our hips. The rotator cuff in our shoulders helps give our arms so much more movement. Our hip rotators do the same thing and they're very important. All right, let's get into our second set of 10. Are you ready? We got this. Let's go ahead and take our hips over to our affected side. Good. And back over. Number one, great job. Here's number two towards our affected side. Slowly back over to the other. Good. This is number three. back over. Number four. Good. You're doing great. Hang with me. This is number five. We're halfway through. You got this. Here's number six. Again, we're staying nice, slow, controlled. We're not letting our legs flop. We're in control. This is number seven. Good. Number eight. Good. Other side. Let's get these last two done, shall we? This is number nine. And last one here. You got it. This is 10. Over to the other side. Awesome job. Our next exercise is heel slides. And we're gonna be focused on knee flexion for this exercise, which is bending our knee. So for this one, you're going to need your towel. Go ahead and put that underneath your affected foot. And here's what it's going to look like. You're going to have that towel, whoop, let me get into position here, underneath your affected heel. And 
With your unaffected side, you can stabilize by um, bending your knee and just having your leg propped up like this, or you can keep your leg straight for this exercise, whatever feels more comfortable for you. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and prop my leg up, my unaffected leg up. We are going to pull our heel back to us and bend our knee just like this until we get our leg nice and flat. And then we're gonna take and push our heel back out so that our leg straightens out. Now, I don't have a huge modification for this. If you're not able to get that full movement, I say just do what you can. So even if you just get a little bit of movement, but this is all that you got, that's okay. Like I said before, we're all starting somewhere. So let's go ahead and do our first set of 10 here. Ready, here we go. Bring our heel back, like we're trying to hit our butt. So we're bending that knee, and then we're gonna straighten our leg out. Good. As with all the rest of these, we are going nice, slow, and controlled. Bringing our heel back, this is number two. And then we're pushing our foot Straightening the knee. Good. Here's number three. Bring that heel back. Bend the knee. You're doing great. Push that leg out and straighten it. Good. This is number four. You're doing great. Let's straighten it. Push that leg out. Good. Bringing it back, here's number five. We're halfway through this one. We're maintaining that nice, slowed, controlled movement throughout each one of these repetitions. This is number six. Bend the knee, bring that heel back. Good, and straighten. You're doing great. Good. Number seven. I know you're probably starting to really feel this now. I'm feeling it myself. Good. And we're going straight again. Extend that knee, straighten it out. Good. This is number eight. Hang with me. You've got this. Good. And let's straighten out our leg. Good. Here's number nine. Almost there. Good. And straighten. And after this, one more to do for, to, for our first set. This is ten. Good. Let's straighten out. <laughs> and take a well-deserved break here for a minute. <laughs> That's a tough one. You, I feel that. Take a breather here. I think this is a good point. Let's all take a nice deep breath together. Close your eyes and let's go in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's take one more before our second set. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Good job. All right, guys, let's do our second set of 10. Here we go. Bring that heel back, like you're trying to kick yourself in the butt. Straighten the leg back out, straighten the knee. Pushing with our foot, that's number one. Good, let's do number two here. Pull it up and straighten. Like with all of these, we're not moving quickly. We're really focusing on controlled movement. This is number three. We're not letting our leg flip flop down. 
Good. Number four. Straighten the leg out. To one great. Let's do number five here. Good. Let's straighten. Halfway through our second set of ten. Almost there. Here's number six. Bringing that heel back and then straightening out the leg. Doing great. Number seven. Bringing that heel up, up, up. Bending that knee and then pushing that leg straight. Great job. Here's number eight. We're almost there. Stay with me. Don't give up now. When it gets hard and you feel like quitting, that's the time when you need to really push through. So don't give up. This is number nine. Make a commitment to yourself. Finish all of these. As long as it's not spiking up pain, we don't work through moderate pain, okay? This is number 10, last one. Push down. And if you're just getting tired, work through it. Whew. Rest that leg, take a breather, get a sip of water. I'll see you at the next one. Exercise number six is knee push downs. And this is specifically focused on knee extension or straightening out our knee. So this is where you're going to need your pillow. Uh, the pillow is gonna go underneath your affected knee. So let me go ahead and give you a demonstration on what this exercise looks like. So, pillow underneath the affected knee here. We're laying down. And with a slight bend in your knee, that's kind of our starting position, you're gonna take and straighten your knee and push that down, the back of your knee down into that pillow and then relax. I don't have a modification for this. Um, this is just kind of where we're at. Um, even if you don't get that movement and you're not able to squish the pillow down, that's okay. Like I keep saying, we go at our own pace Start where you're at. Let's get into our first set of 10. Ready? And here we go. Push that knee down, squeeze, and one. Down, and two, good. Here's three, push down, relax. This is four, and relax, push down, five, Relax, squeeze six, relax, good. Push down, this is seven, relax. Here's eight, pushing down. And nine, push down, relax. Last one here, push down, 10, and relax, woo. I made you hold that last one a little longer, sorry. <laughs> All right, nice job, everyone. Take a quick breather here. We'll get ready for our second set of 10. Big deep breath in and out. Good. All right, let's get into our second set of 10. Same thing, ready, and push that knee down, and raise up, good. This is number two, squish that pillow, and relax. Number three, and relax. Number four, pushing down, and relax. Here's number five, good. Hang with me, we're almost there. This is six, and relax. Number seven, good, relax. Number eight, excellent. 
Two more. This is number nine. And relax. Give me a good squeeze on this last one. Number 10. Push, 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 push. And relax. Good job. I'll see you at the next one. Exercise number seven is toe lifts. And this exercise focuses on ankle dorsiflexion or the ability to lift up our toes. Let me turn and show you. You can lay down and use the pillow just to get your heel up off of the bed or the couch, whatever you're laying on. The goal is to be able to lift and bring your toes back toward your nose. So let's get into our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. Bring those toes back and relax. Good. Here's two. Back. Relax. Three. Back. Relax. Four. And relax. Five. Relax. Six. Relax. Doing great. Seven. Relax. Eight. Relax. Good. Nine. Relax. And ten. Relax. Nice job. Take a breather here. Ankle dorsiflexion is one of those complex movements that's often affected after a stroke happens. A lot of survivors who have trouble with ankle dorsiflexion have to wear an ankle foot orthosis or an AFO um, to keep the feet um, in a better position to walk. Otherwise, the foot kind of drops down and your toes can drag and it can make you fall and stumble. Um, so that's why this exercise is so important. And again, if you don't have active movement, but you can get a little bit of a contraction, that's a-okay. We shoot for whatever we can get. All right, this is the second set of 10. Let's get into it, shall we? Here we go. Bring those toes back and relax. Good, here's number two. Back and relax. Three and relax. Four, relax. Five, relax. Six, relax. Almost there. Seven, relax. Eight, relax. Give me two more. You can do it. Relax and ten. Relax. Good job. I will see you at the last exercise. Congratulations, you made it to the last exercise, exercise number eight. And for this one, we are going to be focused on ankle inversion and eversion, meaning we're gonna be bringing our toes into midline and then pulling our foot out. So let me give you a demonstration so you know what this looks like. You will need your pillow again. This will look similarly to the setup of our last exercise. Let me show you this. Your foot is going to be supported by the pillow. Your heel is gonna be up off of the bed. And to start this one, you're gonna bring your toes pointing in towards your midline, and then you're going to pull them out away from your midline. So I'll show you just a couple more into your midline and away from your midline. In and away. All right, let's go through our first set of 10. Ready? Here we go. And in, out. Good. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out, you're doing great. In and out. Here's number eight. In, out. Number nine, in and out. Last one here, in and out. Good job. Give those ankles a rest. Take a breather. Ankle inversion and eversion is a very important movement. Um, 
We have a lot of muscles and ligaments that surround and attach to our ankle that give it a lot of support. Doing exercises like ankle inversion and eversion help to stabilize and keep the muscles around our ankle strong so that we get more stability. If you've had enough of a breather, let's go ahead and get through this last set of 10 and then we will be done. All right, second set of 10, here we go. And we're pointing our toes in and out. Good. Two, in and out. Excellent. Three and out. Four and out. Five and out. Good. Six and out. Seven and out. Eight. And out, you're doing awesome. Two more, nine, and out. Last one, 10, and out. Excellent job. Take a well-deserved breather. You did wonderful today. And I will see you next time you decide you'd like to go back through these exercises. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for showing up and doing these exercises with me. You are doing great. If you've done other leg exercises that weren't in this video, but you liked, leave me a comment and let me know what they were. As always, I've got a link down in the description to sign up for my email list if you'd like to get three stroke recovery tips a week and access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time.